Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install trigger plugs into a GameCube controller. You will need a tri-wing screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver to do this um, and our OEM controller. We're going to start by removing the six screws that are on the back of the controller and they're all located where I am pointing to right now. We're going to use the tri-wing screwdriver to start getting all of those screws out. Once all of the screws are out, you can remove the bottom shell and we don't need the shell that has all the buttons on it. For now, we can just set that to the side. Let's install the tall trigger plug. We'll need to remove two screws from the top of the trigger assembly. The first screw is right here. And then the second screw is right to the left of it. Once that screw is out, we'll take this top part out. And now we'll just grab the trigger and pull it through towards the inside of the shell. Now we can take the tall trigger plug and put it into the trigger. We'll reassemble the spring. You can leave the spring out if you'd like or cut it at this point. And now you'll want to make sure that you hold this rubber gasket in place. If that comes out, you will lose your full press. So we'll push the trigger back through. You will kind of have to wiggle it. Make sure to keep your finger on that rubber pad at the back, um, otherwise it will pop out. And then once you kind of wang jangle it around a little bit, you'll see that the black part will set on those square posts on the inside and the gasket will stay in. When you're trying to put the trigger in, as long as you hold your finger on that gasket, it might come out a little bit, but with your finger on it, it should stay in place. Now what I'll do here is kind of hold the gasket on the side and push a little bit and you can see the gasket start to come out a bit. This is what we don't want to do, so don't push the trigger down all the way yet. We'll put the top part back on and put the screws back in on each side. Now we'll get the top shell, make sure the Z button didn't fall out, and you'll see that there are these two posts at the top here. These are your analog values for light shielding in Melee. You need to make sure that these posts, uh, move them all the way to the top, so those posts sit inside of the holes in the trigger. So if those posts don't make it back in there, when you reassemble the shell, you won't have analog values. So push them up to the top, and then you should have no problem when you put the shell back together. They should go right back into these holes. Now that those are for sure at the top, let's grab the bottom shell and just go ahead and put it back on. Make sure to not push the triggers in yet. Then once the two shells are together, um, I like to hold the shells together with my hand before I screw it together and then make sure that all of my button presses are working as I would expect. And then we can see that the R trigger um, just has the full press and I also have a short plug on L so we have just a little bit of travel there. Now all you need to do is put these six screws back in using the tri-wing screwdriver and then you are good to go.